everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is again your one and only Miss All or Nothing, only here in your Miss All or Nothing TV. For today's content, this is the very first time that I'll be discussing the first topic or the introductory topic of the subject practical research one yes everyone this vlog its content will tackle or will discuss about topic one under grade 11 subject practical research one so without further ado to all grade 11 students in the country the philippines this is your topic one of practical research one that I'll be discussing. So with further ado, we will start. So everyone, when we speak of the term research, what do you mean by that? Simply, according to MS Milan and Schumacher 2001, research refers to the systematic process of collecting and analyzing information for some purpose so later on you will get to know why is it or what's the very purpose of conducting research and what are the things that you need to know when we speak of the term research before conducting research as what I've said research are conducted depending on the purpose of the one that will conduct research because generally doing research or conducting research helps society to answer many questions and problems that are existing today and via research substantial solutions are provided in order to end up the problems that we are facing today example we have covid-19 diba another problem is covid-19 so the very integral role of research is studyhan on sa ang cause research sa covid-19 studyhan on sa ang pinaka effective na vaccine ana in which we all know that it's Russia and China na mo ay first nakahimo sa COVID vaccine. Klaro tadi ha? So, ma-realize ninyo, ma-internalize ninyo, how important is research in our daily lives? Research will get to study on say, cause sa COVID-19, diinggikan ang COVID-19, at the same time, naan naman dyan si COVID-19 for so many months, ni patay siya o millions of populations all over the world. So, important role ni research diha is to be able to produce vaccine, COVID-19 vaccine. And the very first country that was able to produce the COVID-19 vaccine was Russia. Followed by China. So, klaro ta diha everyone. Diha pala nga part Ma realize nimo unsa ka importante ang research. So let us move to the next content. Now, before moving further, it is very important that you, as the students, and all of us living in our society, must get to know the classifications or types of research before dealing with deeper topics concerning on research. So this time, I'll be revealing to you what are the four types of research. So four types of research. The very first type of research is according to purpose. The very first type of research that's according to purpose. Second type of research, according to approach. Third type of research, according to the level of investigation. And then the fourth type of research, 
according to the type of data being researched. So, klaro tadi ha. Later on, we will dissect or give examples of the four types of research. A while ago, everyone, we just revealed that there are four types of research or there are four classifications of research. But this time, we will dissect the four classifications of research and I will reveal to you that under four types of research, there are also specific classifications of research under four types of research. Now, let us start with the first type of research which is according to purpose. Under according to purpose research, there are two types of research for that. Again, there are two types of research and the research according to purpose. Now, the first type of research according to purpose is basic research. The second type of research is applied research. Now, what's the difference between basic research and applied research? When we speak everyone of basic research, that refers to the type of research in which it is done in order to generate knowledge. Claro tadi ha? Basic research is done to generate knowledge. So, gihi mo na siya nga research. Kaya after ana nga research, na ay bago nga knowledge. Masabdan. Claro tadi ha? Wala naglibo? Very good. Now, meanwhile, when we speak of applied research, by the way, applied research is also known as practical research. And unsay kalahi ni practical research or ni applied research to basic research. Applied research or practical research refers to the type of research that is done because it has immediate usefulness after the conduct of the research. That's why grade 11 students or grade 12 students, they have their practical research. Nga naman. Because after doing or conducting that research, what we call as practical research, there is immediate usefulness for that. That's why grade 11 and grade 12 students, uh, na asilay research proposal defense and even research uh, proposal conduct, Part, part 1, part 2, part 3, part, part 4, part 5 of the research tungod kay kahuman ang nga research na asya immediate or hinanali nga magamitan pag kahuman na nakumplito ang research. Klaro tadi ha everyone? I hope wala tagalibog sa difference or klahian or sa mga pamaagi sa pag-identify unsa sa basic research o unsa si applied research. Klaro tadi ha? Very good. Now everyone, under the second type of research, which is research according to approach, there are also two classifications for that. And what are they? The first classification of research according to approach is non-experimental. And the second classification of a research that is done according to approach is experimental. So basically, we have non-experimental research and experimental research that is under according to approach research. Now, what's the difference between non-experimental research and experimental research? Now, first thing... We need to identify what is non-experimental research. Non-experimental research refers to a type of research that is done but there is no strict control of variables. Bisaya una nato later. And then meanwhile, experimental research is a type of research that is done in which there is a strict control of variables. Examples they have. Na ay mag-research na either taga International Rice Research Institute or taga Department of Agrarian Reform to find out kung sa nga variety sa rice ang kusog mubunga. So, klaro tadi ha? So, na ay rice A, rice B, o rice C. So, idunga na siya og tanong, taga uh, studyhan og duration of months, let us say, 8 months studyhan na siya 
ang rice, ang tulo ka variety ng ligdongan ug tanom. So ang purpose naman sa research is para masabtan na asa ang mga tulo ka variety sa rice, ang paspas or ang ang klase sa rice na muhatag ug mas daghan nga abot. So muna siya example sa non-experimental research nga naman kay wala may variables nga gistudihan para ma-differentiate uh, ang tulo. Wala may gigpang control nga var variable, wala nimo gi control ang wind, ang sunlight, wala nimo gi control ang water, wala nimo gi control ang pesticides nga i-apply instead kung unsa nga amount of light ang naa anang ang gi butang anang tulo ka variety sa rice nga gidungan og tanom mao sa gihapon ang madawat ni rice wow. A rice B rice C kung unsa nga amount of fertilizer and kung unsa nga mga fertilizer ang gibutang ni rice A rice B rice nga gidugan og tanom wala man siya gi-control so muna gi example nga non experimental research na dirita sa specific example sa experimental research now again Ganina si Iri ug si Dar or si International Rice Research Institute gadungan og tanom og rice para masabtan ang unsa nga variety sa rice ang kusog or abunda og og ani. So karon in the example sa experimental research naalay usa ka variety sa rice nga idungan og tanom pero si rice A nga nga rice Imo i-control ang amount of sunlight at the same time ang amount sa nitrogen, phosphorus o potassium ng fertilizer na ibutang ana ni rice A variety. Pero si rice B variety, dili di mo i-control ang amount of sunlight, ang amount sa nitrogen na ibutang, sa phosphorus o sa potassium. So si experimental research, buhaton siya arong ma-find out kung asa sa duha ka variety si rice A ba o si rice B ang healthy mo tubo in which si rice A gina control ni mo ang amount sa sunlight sa nitrogen sa phosphorus o sa potassium so expected na si rice A variety dili siya healthy mo tubo manu man na amang kay strict control variables gina control man ni mo si amount of sunlight si nitrogen si phosphorus o sa potassium pero si rice B wala man, sakto ang amount of sunlight, wala nimo gi-control, wala nimo gi-control ang nitrogen, wala nimo gi-control ang phosphorus, wala nimo gi-control ang potassium nga fertilizer so expected ang research na ang mo grow og maayong nga healthy nga product, ang production high og yield si rice B. Again, wala siya ang example ni experimental research. Everyone, the third type of research is according to level of investigation. And according to level of investigation, research has three types of research. The first type, exploratory. The second type, descriptive. And the third type, experimental. Now, iisa-isahin natin siya. What is exploratory research? That type of research is guided by the principles of what are the variables to study. Muna exploratory research. Example, Apollo 11 research, research of humans of the planet Mars, research of human on the planets Saturn and Jupiter using Juno 11 nga satellite. Klaro tadi ha? Very good. Now, descriptive research. What is descriptive research? It's a type of research that is guided by are the variables related. Specific examples sa descriptive research. Ang nga no, nga ang students, kung math ng subject, ang istoryahan, na nugag may o grades ang majority of the class. Pero kung ikumpara sa araling panlipunan, nga nung pasado man dyan tanan students in the classroom. Klaro tadi ha? So what are the variables related? So unsa kaha ang mga factors or mga variables na nakaapikto nga nung 
dab po o grades ang mga students kung araling panlipunan na subject ang studyhan. Meanwhile, kung calculus one specific specific type or specific subject sa math, nano kung calculus one halos ang mga honors raman ang mupasar and even sa mga honors nano ang top five raman ang dagko sa grado ng specific calculus one. So, klaro tadi ha, kung sa mga related na variables na naka-affect, nga dugal makalert ang students. Muna yung descriptive study. Klaro tadi ha, muna ang research na descriptive research. Nakasayop-sayop na ko, pero sakto ako examples. Sakto ang meaning sa descriptive research. Now, let's move to experimental research. This type of research is done, guided by, is the relationship of Causal. So, maghimo kag research to find out if the relationship is causal. Is it causal? Ang cause ba ano ng mga panghitabo? Same ba kaha or lain lain? Example sa experimental research. Ah, in the classroom na amde ba naman ay row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, row six. Mo lang row eight na sa kotob. Let us say divide nato ang row eight into two ka group so one to one to so na ay so na ay per group na ay upat ka rows naro tadi ha group one ay upat ka rows one to three si rows one to three four and then group two na under ni group two si row five six seven eight so maghimo ka og research magkanda ka og research di ha to find out on site cause of cheating among students nga nung ang students basic na jud nga mo cheat man every every crisis every exams so studyhan ni mo maganda ka ang research kung sa jud cause nga mag cheat man jud ang students is it because ba nga wala sila nakatuon or is it because ba behavior na jud sa majority of students to cheat in order not to fail in the quiz or in the subject in general or na ay other factors nga nag-cause sa cheating maunang lisod ma-eliminate ang cheating in the classroom tungod ba kay si best friend na ay special nga pagtanaw sa iya katapad maunang sa iya katapad every quiz every exam dili mag-study kay si best friend naman ang mag-study kay iya gitolerate ang iya guwapo or guwapa nga katapad di ba kay may lihim na pagtingin Si friend. So, usa sa dasa cause of cheating, imo gi allow imo classmate nga mo cheat kay naka-like man dai ka nakagusto man dai ka ni classmate. Ikaw to si classmate sa gwapo ug gwapa. O pasabdan na sa dimo mo pakop mo kopya nimo kay pa-impress man ka ni gwapo ug gwapa classmate. Mo nang ang cheating mo na siya ang mga cause. So, maghimo ka research to determine in an experimental manner, experimental research. Nga nung ang cheating inside the classroom, dili jud. Dili jud mawala. Is it because ang students dili gusto mo fail sa subject? Is it because nag-gramming na kay ang kasagara sa kaysa students is anahan na mag-study kung exam na huwag makiling genius na? Or is it because nai usa ka tao nga nag-tolerate nga mangupya ang usa? Diba? Wala may mangupya kung wala magpakupya. Ano alam na? So, klaro tali ha? I hope via the example wala taga libog so let's move on to the fourth type of research now everyone we are now in the last classification of research which is according to data being researched again the last type of research is what we call as research that is done according to data being researched and there's two classification for according to data being researched one quantitative research and two qualitative research now what is quantitative research it's the type of research that measures the magnitude the size or the extent of the phenomenon example para dili maglibog mga tao sa kalibutan example bagyo or typhoon ruling in which ni about siya og signal number 5 sa katanduanes og sa albay. Klaro ka di ha? So, si quantitative research 
basically ang institutions sa Philippines nga in charge sa Baguio si Pag-asa, Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. So ang Baguio, studihan na nimo ang speed of ang speed of wind, ang area covered sa Baguio, mo nang naatay mga signals number 5 mo na ang center pinaka areas nga maigo sa bagyo ng signal number 5 niya signal number 432 niya signal number 1 mauna ang area nga medyo layo-layo na jud sa bagyo igo na lang ng mga mga one-on lang hangin-hangin ginagmay or kung sa mga sa basic pangan instruyahan mo na mga utot-utot na lang sa bagyo sa signal number 1 klaro tadi ha ang bagyo stadihan na ni pag-asa according sa magnitude dili magnitude nga plano ba bagyo tapo According sa gidakon sa iyang kadaot sa bagyo, according sa kadako sa bagyo, sa entire area nga covered anang nga bagyo, kung sa mga areas nga affected anang nga bagyo. Klaro tadi ha? Sa yes, sa bagyo, ang entire ang entire area nga cover sa bagyo, mauna dihang na ay signal number 5 and number 4, mauna ang pinaka area jud nga maoy direkta nga apektuhan sa bagyo. Klaro tadi ha? Nga, ang signal number 1, maun lang itong katong mga hinuang-hungo na lang sa bagyo. Klaro ta? Muna ay quantitative research. So, maghimo si pag-asa di haog quantitative research para ma-deliver niya sa katawahan sa Filipino community. Unsa ang mga lugar, unsa ang mga preparations na ay bagyo before pa maigo ang bagyo, kung naan ang bagyo, unsa ang pagkabuhaton, especially sa mga lugar na naa sa signals number 5, number 4, number 3. Nga, kung naan may bagyo, ang safe-safe dihan ang mga lugar ka ng signal number 2 o 1. Ang pinaka-safe, ang signal number 1. Ako ka to mga lugar nga wala na under sa signal signal sa so, basta na ibang yung klaro ta ni ha very good so dire na sad sa what is qualitative research qualitative research is done in which that type of research provides descriptions of the basic characteristics of the phenomenon so let us say qualitative research from a so Descriptions of the basic characteristics and descriptions. Oh, let us say, Baguio. Exodus of Baguio. What's the international name? Anna. Exodus of Phil. Exodus of Philippine area of responsibility. Lahi naman ang pangan Anna. Ang Baguio class. Lahi ang international name para atong Yolanda. Si Yolanda, mauna siya ang pangan sa Baguio pag sold sa Philippine area of responsibility. Pero sa wala pa si Yolanda misul sa Baguio or bisag na sold siya sa Baguio. Ang international name ni Yolanda is Typhoon Haiyan. Klaro ta? Typhoon Haiyan. Pero Pinoy man ka na, ang sa Philippines nagpuyo, ang i-announce na ni Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical Astronomical Services Administration, tawag si Typhoon Haiyan nga, Typhoon Yolanda. Klaro ta di ha? Ngayang imura i-report ana sa Philippines, ang iyang description sa basic characteristics kung sa'y pangan, kung sa'ng speed sa wind, kung saan ang velocity sa wind niya kung mag-landfall na siya asa siya nga area mo igo jo direkta mo igo unlike sa quantitative research imo jo sadihan ang unsa ang mga area nga imo ibutang under signal number 1 2 3 4 5 niya ang gikusgo na jo sa bagyo mo inig hapak inig igo na direkta sa mga lugar mao na siya diha kalahian sa quantitative research and qualitative research Let us say, qualitative research nga lita sa gugma-gugma kayo makarelate dito na sa lugar. Qualitative research, ay mo na i-describe unsa ang mga klase, unsa ang mga klase sa tao nga ay mo magustuhan. Kana bang bagag kilay, dipset ang mata, taas ang ilong, red lips, anak mo na i-qualitative. Ay mo na i-describe ang mga qualities sa babae o lalaki ay mo gikagustuhan. Pero nga rin ka sa quantitative research, imo na sok doon kung unsa kadako ang imong gugma ana atawhana so swayan nimo ne unsa ka tinong olive nga honest and loyal ni si baby nako sa so, kun trabaho nimo imo best friend nga mas gwapa nimo mm. imo pachaton sa imo best friend nga mas gwapa nimo sa imo uyab nya imo sugoon na tintalon mo na imo man ay best class pag test oh, no! sa imo uyab mo sa kaluwa nimo na akay best friend Bisa pag dili gwapa pa ni mo na kay best friend mas gwapa gwapa ni mo. Kung siya bahala, mm, testing mo o yan. Ipachat, ipasend o mga... Basta mo na, suwagi. O, o, honest, imo uyab ni mo, dera, maunay uyab na. 
pero nga, pero oh, daily alas imo uya. Jesus ko. Wala pay 24 oras buwag yun na ko nga. Ang giapas ana nimo. Sure na, klaro na. Everyone, that's it for today. That's our content describing to you or revealing to you what research and what are the types of research and specifically under the four types of research what are the specific types of research under the four types of research in which the four types of research again are according to purpose according to approach according to the level of investigation and according to the type of data being research everyone that is for today our content discusses about research types of research and specific types of research under the four major types of research this is again your one and only miss all or nothing tv tune in everyone for the next vlog Ciao!